Hey everybody, this is Game Freak 10124, and welcome back to another reaction video. Um, this time I'm using my uh, Windows Movie Maker to record my commentary for this, and uh, watching it on my Switch, not using the Elgato, and not doing how I've done other reaction videos for the newest trailer for Sword and Shield, Isle of Armor, and Crown Thunder DLC. I have not seen it yet, if you have not seen it. Uh, watch it before this reaction video, and I'll have a link in the description for it. And uh, unless I change my mind, and I don't think I will, you guys will most likely just have this be on a sword and shield uh, picture for the reaction, and just be able to hear the audio of my reactions to it. So watch the trail before having this video up. <clears throat> well. Not having this video, if you're having this video, and you haven't seen the trailer, literally, like, go watch it before continuing with the video. <clears throat> um, real quick, I need to... Shut my window. I intended to have that shut beforehand. <clears throat> Freaking Galarian slow, bro. Oh, he's got it on his arm with the cannon. Digidon, I've seen the Loudred, Sandile, whoop de doo Braviary is already in the game, Tangrowth, Executor, Poliwhirl, Whale Lord, which is already in the game, Kongaskan, Bullfont, however you say that thing's name from Generation 5, Lycanroc, I know I'm just kind of naming off Pokemon names, but there's not too much else of interest to mention in this, and I'm going to pause it and restart it. So again, that's partly why I highly recommend highly recommend you guys go see the video if you haven't already before uh, watching this reaction. Uh, Mian Chao, Lechender, some of these Pokemon we already knew about, frickin' Dragalge. What the heck, frickin', uh... Cramorant Robot. Uh, then here we go with the Gigantamax Venusaur and Blastoise. Okay, freaking. Blastoise's max move is badass. He freaking uses it from the spikes on his back. <laughs> Kung Fu starts at the top of the building. Love this badass music. Another gigantic forms. Calyrex. <clears throat> the Crown Tundra. What are we gonna get for this? We already knew about that. Swablu, Cryogonal, Krig however you say that thing's name. Well, that thing's already in the game, I think. Okay, I freaking love that new bike outfit. Okay, to see some footage of the freaking legendary Max Raids. Oh, 
let me see. Yeah, I didn't think to check for the HD quality. Oh well. Then this new frickin' uh, XY Pokemon, Regia. There's two of them, Corviknight. Then there's the frickin' uh, Galarian legendary Kanto birds. Previously, I freaking made the prediction, I don't know if I told you guys or not, but previously I predicted Zapdos is going to be Electric Dark, Articuno is going to be Ice Psychic, and Waltrace is going to be Fire Dark. Or no, I'm sorry. Zapdos is going to be Electric Fighting. Zapdos is going to be Electric Fighting, Articuno is going to be Ice Psychic, and Waltrace is going to be Fire Dark. <clears throat> Galarian started their Gigantamax forms and moves. Uh, then they're freaking showing a thing back at the uh, Champion Cup. It showed a thing with uh, Rehan and Leon. Magmar, Kingdra, Magnazone. I don't know why they're showing nine tails, but whatever. Aaron. <clears throat> June seventeenth. Um, this would have been a shock to me if it were like, "Whoa, well, awesome! It's coming that soon." However, I was unfortunately spoiled uh, that it would be coming out around that time because I'm subscribed to a person. There, the YouTube user named Jerry Oak, J-E-R-R-Y-O-A-K, -R -R and he's going to be doing an upcoming live stream where he freaking gives away shiny Gigantamax Urshifu, and that's scheduled for the 18th, so unfortunately I was freaking, because I seen that in my subscription feed, I was unfortunately spoiled that this would be coming soon. <clears throat> One question is, is this going to come before? after or around the same time as uh, the Arms Fighter and Smash Ultimate. <laughs> so what, I would have had a better reaction, but unfortunately because I'm subscribed to Jerry Ogatina and myself, you know, I was freaking spoiled by the date, but still, I figured it'd be the 18th and the 17th. Makes sense to me. Had another time the interruption at being asked about <clears throat> something about food for dinner, but anyway. And yeah, they're just saying available fall 2020 for the Crown Tundra. Game footage in this video is not final, of course. <clears throat> anyway, that was interesting. Not as hype as I was hoping, but it was very interesting. Um, so I guess I'll end it, end up ending it off here. Um, trying to think if there's anything else I want to mention. <clears throat> um, I will say this: I'm not going to be starting the Isle of Armor right away that very day. Um, Probably the Friday and Saturday after it comes out, I'll start doing the Isle of Armor in my Pokemon Sword Let's Play. I'll do it in my Swords Let I'll do it in my Sword Let's Play first, then I'll do it in my Shield Let's Play. <clears throat> and he's surrounded in controversy. I do enjoy Velocify's videos, but it did, like, if you are interested in his videos, I recommend checking those out. If you are a person who does not care for Velocify, you put it lightly, then obviously you know what you're into. So anyway, guys.
that said, that's it for this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time for the next video I upload to YouTube, as well as um, the Isle of Armor for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield, my, both of my Let's Plays. And I will actually add this to both my Sword and Shield playlists. So anyway, bye everybody.